Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we will see how we can upgrade our existing project to React 18 and fix all the breaking changes. Many of you are following this video, learn React with one project with the latest version of the React and facing issues like local storage gets empty whenever you refresh your page. Semantic UI not working. UUID v4 package is not working. So we are going to fix all these issues in this video. So if this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I'm already in my Visual Studio code. And first we have to do is we have to clone the repository for our contact manager application. So what I will do is let's go to the browser and in the browser, before I do the clone of my GitHub repository, I want to show you what all the issues that you guys are facing while following up the tutorial. So the first issue which I found that a lot of have an issue with the UUID. So if I search with the UUID, then you will see that a lot of people are facing issues with the UUID as UUID v4 is not working. The next issue which I saw is uh, that the local storage is not working. And I see a lot of people have commented that the local storage is not working. Whenever they refresh the page, uh, the data in the local storage get erased. So we are going to fix that as well. Uh, I want to tell you that you are facing this issue because uh, when I created the project, the React version I have used is React version 17. And when you create a new project with the NPX create React app, then you have a React version of 18. So let's go to the GitHub. So I'm going to go to the GitHub and in the GitHub, I will search for my contact manager repository. All right. So I have this contact manager repository. And what we have to do is first, initially we are going to upgrade our react version to 18 from 17. So I'm going to go to the code and I'm going to click on the copy. All right. I'm going to click on clone repository and I'm going to give the repository URL. And then it's going to ask me that where I want to clone my repository. So I'm going to go to the documents in the code and here I'm going to clone my repository. So I will select the location of my repository. All right. So it's cloning and now I will just open it. So I have opened my project and if I go to the package JSON, then you will see that we have the react version 17. So how we are going to upgrade the react version. So what we can do is let's go to the terminal. All right. And inside the terminal, I'm going to write npm install react. So this is the react which we want to upgrade. So I'm going to have the latest. Then I also want to upgrade the react dome. So I'm going to have the react hyphen dome and I will make this as latest Then the react script. So let's have the react scripts at the rate latest. And I will also upgrade the web vitals because these the react react dome react script and web vitals is what you get whenever you create a react application using npx create react app. So I'm going to have the web vitals at the rate latest and I'm going to hit enter and this is going to get me all the latest version of the react react dome scripts and the web vitals. So we just have to wait for some time. All right. So now you will see that the installation is done and I see that we have the latest version of the react 18 now. And if we want to run the application now, then let's see, uh, I'm going to do the npm start and I'm going to hit all right. And then we are going to see that. So I already have an application running, so I will just change the port. So it's going to run the application on port 3001. And here we will see that we get the first error, which is the UUID v4. And I have checked the documentation of the UUID v4. So it says that it's going to be deprecated and all the functionalities of UUID v4 library is going to merge with the UUID. So if I go and search UUID NPM, so let me have the UUID NPM. So instead of the UUID v4, we can install the UUID. So what I will do is, and I'm going to clear it and I'm going to write NPM install UUID and I'm going to hit enter. So this is going to install the UUID. All right. And now how we can use it. So I will go to the source components app.js and here we have the UUID from UUID. So what I want is I want the version four of UUID and I will give an alias as UUID and this will be coming from UUID. I will save it. All right. And now let's give a try. So I'm going to run the application again and I'm going to hit enter. Now we see that we don't have any issue with the UUID. All right. I will go to the inspect and I see that if I get any errors or not. So in the inspect element in the console, we see that we have a warning and the warning is 
that react-dom.render is no longer supported in React 18. So let's go and remove this warning. So I will go here and in my index.js, what I will do is I will have this react dome and this will be coming from the react dome client. So this is the change in the react 18. Now I'm going to create a constant of root and this will be equals to the react dome dot create root and i'm going to give the document dot get element by id root so i'm going to cut this and i'm going to add it here and now we can use this root here i will save it and everything still works so now let's go and let's check what happens so i'm going to go here and i will refresh my page so when you create the new react application this is what you get in your index dot js so now i will go back and let's add a record so i'm going to have the page malvia and let's add an email address and i'm going to click on add all right i can see that my data is added in the local storage so let's go to the application and let's verify all right so i see that i have a record here now a lot of people facing the issue that when they refresh the page the local storage gets empty so i will go and check for local storage what is the issue everyone is facing so they say that local storage is not working on the refresh data gets removed any workaround on that all right so let's check it so i'm going to refresh my page and i I definitely see that the local storage is not working so how we can fix that let's go to our app component all right and in our app component what we do is we have two different use effect the first use effect is for getting the record from the local storage and the second use effect is setting the data into the local storage and have a dependency array so there is a change in the react 18 with the functionality of the use effect so the workaround for this is what we can do is we can just remove this i will copy this and when i set my use state what i will do is i'm going to set my use state as the json.parse local storage get item from this and what i can do here is that if my json.parse if i don't get any data from the local storage and if it's null then in that case i want my contact array to be empty so i'm going to add two question marks and this is called javascript nullable colensing so if you go and if you read about javascript javascript nullable colensing operator then you will see that what it actually do so what it actually do is if the left hand side so if we go here and it will check that if this left hand side is having a null value then it's going to use the right hand side value otherwise it will always going to use the left hand side value so for us if this is null then it's going to set the contact array as empty array and if it's not null then it's going to fetch the value from the local storage all right so now what we can do is uh, i'm going to comment this out we don't want this all right i will comment it out and i will save it okay now let's go and let's check so if i go here and if i refresh it then i don't see anything okay so let's add a new record so i'm going to add a new record and i will save it all right so we have the record and now if i refresh it then you will see that we still see the record so that's how we are going to fix the problem of the local storage now the third issue which i saw a lot of people are having is related to the semantic ui so i will have the semantic ui and let's see so what are the comments on the semantic ui so if i scroll then you will see that someone is having that the semantic ui it not work is not working as expected some are saying that the header is overlapping so for all those i want to tell you that we are using a semantic ui version so let's go to the public index.html and here i am using a cdn link of a semantic ui so probably you might have an issue that if your web pack is less than five then in that case semantic ui will need a polyfill so to get rid of all this stuff what you can do is either you can upgrade the semantic ui to the latest so what you can do you can go to the cdn semantic ui so let's go to cdn semantic ui i'm going to open this and you can actually use the latest one and it should work so next thing what i want to show you is that uh, for the CSS I have also added some custom CSS in my app CSS so probably when you use the classes of the semantic UI and you still don't have the UI which is shown in the tutorial then you will also need a reference of the app CSS from the github and you can copy the CSS into your project now we have covered all the issues that you guys are facing with the course and we have also upgraded the react to react 18 so that's all I want to show you. Uh, I One more thing I want to show you that if you are using this GitHub repository, then let me show you how it works. 
so the master branch contains only the code related to the first part so if we go here and let me open my project so i'm going to go and have the content and let's scroll down i will go to the video so let me go to the video i will go here and i will open it and i'm going to click on edit and now you will see that the, the master branch contains the code that is only related to the react fundamentals so when you go to the next step which is a react router what you can do is you can switch the branch and you can find the code so this is the react router so you can switch the branch and you can get the code and the third one is for the react crud axios and react search so i have a different branch for react crud axios and the search bar and the fourth one is a code refactoring so what this code refactoring is included it contains the react router dome version 6 so if we go to the source because i have seen that many people are commenting that they are using react router version 6 and they don't know how to proceed so that's where they can check the code refactoring and in the code refactoring if we go to the app.js then you will see that we are using the router and routes and the route the routes which is a replacement of the switch so for that also i have a video you can just follow the video and uh, you can get it so i will show you the video as well so this is the video which is the code refactoring where we refactor some of the code and we also use the react router version 6. so i hope now you have all the doubts cleared related to the project and you will be able to now smoothly follow the project with the latest version of the react so what i will do is i'm going to push my changes and those changes will be in the uh, new branch i'm going to create a new branch with an upgraded version of the react 18 so that you can switch the branch and you can get the code so that's all i have in this video it was a short video but it was an important video because a lot of people got stuck while following the project so if you like the video a thumbs up is appreciated you can also connect with me via facebook or instagram you can follow me on twitter for latest updates and before you go don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one thank you thanks for watching